Good morning, everyone. I'm sitting out by our room, and this is my view. The kids are running around exploring, and Kyle's going to get his paddle board that he rented. I'm still in my pajamas because it's one of those cozy mornings. I've been awake since 5.30 and I finally woke Kyle at 8.30 because I was bored. I don't know why I woke up so early, but here I am awake on vacation. Um, the kids slept till 9 or 9.30 actually, which was nice. They've been staying up a little later than normal. Mommy, you just finished. Oh, that's a beautiful feather. That is a beautiful feather. <laughs> Do you guys know where Daddy went? Where? Daddy went to go get a paddle board. A paddle board? Oh. Is he going to go paddling? He's going to go paddling. Did you find more treasures? Look at this. Ooh. Look at all our treasures. Hey, this is a scar. There's Kyle right there. <laughs> Look at him go. I wonder if the water's freezing. I bet it's freezing. I want to go on it, the paddle board. I love doing paddle boards, but I don't know if I'm brave enough to get in the cold water. Mom's getting ready to go paddle boarding. So, yeah, you're gonna wanna uh, get off, turn it around. Here she goes. Whoa! Okay! out here in the sun beautiful and there's my little family under a blanket a little bit cold it's beautiful out here We went on our fun boat ride. Um, Bia, my friend who booked us this trip, she rented us a Duffy boat yesterday for the day and we loved it so much that we rented it again today. So that was fun. And this this time we were smart and brought lunch on it. Yeah, baby? I hear something. It's your kitty cat toy. 
and the resort we're staying at has a spa here so when when Bia sent me the info for this place I saw the spa right away in the details and I told Kyle that I wanted to book a fancy massage I love massages I've probably only had two professional massages in my life at Massage NV and I enjoyed them but when I saw this place it looks really fancy I said I want to do it I've always wanted to try a fancy spa so Kyle wouldn't let me back out of it he made me stick to it done with my facial and my massage and oh my goodness let me tell you guys I'm so glad I was brave and did it because it was so amazing I'm like emotional over it it was so amazing uh, I wanted to back out because I didn't want to spend that kind of money on myself I struggle with that but Kyle pushed me to go through with it and my sister pushed me to go through with it and I'm so glad that I did um, as soon as I was diagnosed with cancer and people started finding out that I had pain with my cancer, I everyone was suggesting doing alternative therapies alongside my chemotherapy and radiation. And, you know, I've wanted to, and part of me hasn't done any of it because of the pandemic and my immune system being down. I felt like it was risky going to these places to get massages and acupuncture or whatever um, with my weakened immune system so I've like convinced myself like no I shouldn't go it's safer for me not to but everyone says that I should that it would be good for my body and the pain and so I've wanted to do this stuff and then we had the GoFundMe started by my cousins and my sister and my sister told me to use that towards alternative therapies like massage therapy, lymphatic massages, acupuncture, um, Reiki, um, I'm sure there's others that I'm not thinking of, but she has told me to do that with it. But I feel guilty even spending the GoFundMe on myself, even though it's for me. Um, because, you know, we use the GoFundMe towards regular income kyle lost income he normally works um an after school job online and he hasn't done that since my cancer diagnosis so it fills that loss of income and then we use it towards my monthly medical insurance and then my other medical bills which i think we just paid one that was four thousand something then I have to get a bunch of dental work done, which is really expensive. Apparently, um, chemotherapy and immunotherapy have done a lot of damage to my mouth. <sighs> so, anyways, the GoFundMe goes towards all that stuff. But then I feel like massage and acupuncture and all that stuff is almost like selfish, even though it's not. And so, like, I put it off, but... I'm so glad that I went through with this and did it because while I was doing it, I realized how much I needed it and, you know, my, my cancer does cause pain and so I was a little nervous to get a massage to be honest. I was afraid that I would be in pain but I wasn't in pain for it. It felt so good. Um, the woman who did my facial, she said that so she included massage as well. She did it like massage my arms, my chest, my neck, my shoulders. And she said she included a lot of lymphatic massage to help with drainage, with the fluid buildup from my prednisone, my steroids. So she was telling me benefits, health benefits of what she did, which was just from a facial. I didn't know <laughs> a facial could be that beneficial. And um, then the massage, it obviously helped with the pain. Like, I feel like 
a whole new body after that. Um, you know, becoming a stage four cancer patient, I am now technically disabled. And you, I almost think like I'm just technically disabled, but the more I'm going through treatment, like treatment's really hard on my body and mind, um, but the more I go through treatment, the more I feel disabled. And on this trip, this resort is really big. You can walk from pool to pool. There's like five pools. You can walk to where the boat rentals are, the coffee shop, the gift shop. There's like all sorts of stuff. We rode bikes around, like a little family bike around yesterday. So I'm like really active getting around, which is nice, but I definitely would have benefited from bringing my scooter that um, Katie got for us, or Katie raised funds to get for us. Um, so next time, if we come here again, I will definitely bring that. But while doing all the traveling around this property, I keep telling Kyle, I feel disabled. I feel like my body can't do what it used to. My muscles don't work the same. They're not as strong as they used to be. And I'm hoping it's just temporary and that it'll get better after treatment or throughout treatment, I don't know. But right now it's definitely noticeable like that I can't do what I'm used to doing. Like walking is hard. It's really weird, it's sad. Um, so my body hurts from doing all this walking and the bicycling and going up that tower <laughs> yesterday. My body hurts from it, so the massage was really nice. It was like a nice treat to rejuvenate my body since it can't keep up with normal life anymore. Massage has never been something in my family. <laughs> my mom was never into massages, or my dad. Um, we grew up middle class. It was, in my mind, massages and facials were for like wealthy, fancy people. So it was never like in, on my radar. Uh, Kyle and I, we've been one income since I've been a mom. I, I, I'm a stay at home mom, so it was never in the budget to do this sort of stuff. So it's like, this world is new to me. The, the two massages I've had, professional massages I've had in my life were because I got gift cards to Massage Envy, which I was so grateful for. Um, and then I've had one facial in my life before this. And it was when I was in beauty school to become a nail technician. I, um, they ha needed a volunteer for one of the estheticians to practice on. And I was like, me, me, me. And I loved it so much then. Um, Kyle even came in once to be a volunteer <laughs> for one of the estheticians. And he enjoyed the facial as well. Um, but massages have never been on my radar. I love massages. Kyle massages me all the time. He spoils me. Anytime I want one, he, he'll give me one. So I'm lucky to have him. But it was just so nice to do this for myself. So I think I'm going to be even braver and look into lymphatic massages because I've heard really good things about that for those for cancer patients. Look into acupuncture. I've heard good things about that for pain. Um, I'm just going to look into more alternative therapies. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to push myself because I see the benefits. I, I see what my body is going through. I feel what my body is going through and it is going through hell to be quite honest and it deserves some love. I was like emotional during the treatments because I could feel my body needing it so much and I'm so grateful for Bia setting up this whole trip which then had a fancy spa here to push me to go get fancy treatments. Like I just love this whole experience. Thank you to everyone who's donated to the GoFundMes or to our GoFundMe because we wouldn't, I, we wouldn't be able to afford these treatments today if it wasn't for the GoFundMe. So thank you to everyone who donated to our GoFundMe. We're so grateful for you guys. We couldn't do this without you. 
Okay, so at my facial, the weirdest thing happened. You know, I've told you guys that I believe in signs and I am open to signs and I love getting signs and I had a weird thing happen during the facial. We're in this <clears throat> dark little room. The esthetician had her phone at her station locked away from us. She's doing my facial and then all of a sudden her phone unlocks while she's rubbing my face, unlocks, dials someone's number, someone she said she hasn't contacted in a year, her trainer, um, trainer for some esthetician stuff. It dials that number on speakerphone and then goes to voicemail. And she was like, oh my gosh, my phone is locked over there at my station. I'm not touching it. You see this? What happened? It's on speakerphone. We can hear it. What in the world? Like she was so weirded out. She said, you must have some strong energy because this has never happened to me in my life. <laughs> and I was laughing. It was really weird. I felt like it was some sort of sign. No idea what the sign was or what the communication was, but it was really weird. She, even after the service, she kept going about it. I can't believe that happened. I don't know what that was. That is so weird. And I was thinking, oh, it's me. I always tell Kyle, I feel like I have a sixth sense. Ellis has the wild animal food that we bought at the gift shop and he's making a trail all the way from outside for the seagulls to try to get them to come inside. I'm not sure what gave him that idea. In Hawaii, the pigeons came into our room on their own when the door was open. So now he's like, I guess, trying to get the seagulls to come in here. I think the seagulls left. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle went and got a fancy dinner. The kids and I ate in the room with food we brought. He went to a vegan sushi joint. Him and Ashley went to this place last year when we stayed in San Diego. Um, you wanna tell us about your sushi? Yeah, I couldn't resist getting vegan sushi, so. He's got, a sushi guy. I got tempura, that's whatever, but then I got two crunchy rolls and. Um, you wanna hold it up to the camera? It's got vegan crab. The roll. Vegan something or other in there, I don't know but super yummy. You like this place? I'm excited, I love this place. You and Ashley liked it last oh, year. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dig in. Enjoy, love you. Oh, let's see you try it. Mmm, that crunchy, mmm. Is it good? You can't get that everywhere, that crunchy, mmm. -mm. That's sushi under there, point at it, babe. I thought that was rice, those are sushi. Those are yummy, crunchy, bready topping, yummy. Just looking at our last, last night view from our room. We just want to say thank you, Bia, for this amazing trip and little getaway for our family. It was so nice. Good night, San Diego. Bye. All right, let's see your pretty dress, Winnie. Auntie Stacy made this and Tyler. Rainbow girl, look at you, are you rainbow girl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go see Ellis's shirt. Ellis, can we see your shirt? I want to get the same. Lightning boy. Oh, you look so nice. Thank you, Auntie Stacy and Tyler. We love these outfits.
can you guys say goodbye San Diego?